South Wales has a proud industrial legacy and history of innovation. Its railways originally built to transport the black gold from the valleys to the docks of Newport, Cardiff, Barry and Swansea. South Wales coal fuelled the Industrial Revolution. In the early 1900s, it produced one third of global coal exports. By 1913, production reached a staggering 36 million tonnes. In 1921, over a quarter of a million people were working in the pits. People from around the world moved into the valleys for work, creating the bustling towns and villages we see today. As time moved on, railways that once carried coal moved more and more people, becoming a vital link between valleys communities, Cardiff and beyond. Decades of underinvestment left the network struggling to meet modern demand. In 2011, a groundbreaking report envisaged a modern, interconnected transport system that would unlock the economic potential of the valleys. It's called the South Wales Metro. In 2015, the Welsh Government officially launched the South Wales Metro project and secured extra funds from the European Regional Development Fund. In 2018, Transport for Wales, a not-for-profit organisation owned by the Welsh Government, was created to deliver this exciting new vision for transport in South Wales. In 2020, TFW took ownership of the railway lines between Cardiff and Merthyr Tydfil, Aberdeer, Treherbert, Rumney and Cardiff Bay. This was a landmark moment, giving TFW full responsibility for maintaining and transforming the railway to prepare for the metro. In August 2020, major work began on the railway between Cardiff and Pontypridd, Merthyr Tydfil, Aberdeer and Treherbert. New track was laid, signalling was upgraded, new station platforms were built and the lines were prepared for electrification. Despite the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, significant progress was made whilst minimising disruption for passengers. The Taftswell Depot is the nerve centre of the South Wales Metro, a £100 million facility built on a five hectare site that's similar to the size of Carnarvon Castle. It's built on the site of Forge Masters, a major employer which was at the heart of the village of Taftswell for decades. Its integrated control centre manages all traffic, signalling and operations across the metro network. The depot is home to 36 tram trains, which will operate on the Merthyr, Aberdeer and Treherbert lines. It's an important part of the community, providing jobs for 450 people. At the heart of the South Wales Metro project is the electrification of the railway, allowing the introduction of new electric trains and tram trains. Over 4,000 steel masts and 13,000 steel arms have been installed to electrify 170 kilometres of track. If you stacked every steel mast on top of each other, it would be 478 times the height of the Principality Stadium in Cardiff. As part of an £800 million investment from the Welsh Government, Transport for Wales is delivering 148 brand new trains across Wales and the borders, with air conditioning, charging points and new customer information screens. On the South Wales Metro, we've introduced trains that can run on electric and battery power, which is better for the environment. Next year, we'll bring electric tram trains into service, capable of running on both the railway and on street level. Alongside electrifying the network, we're busy making our railway stations easier for everyone to access. There'll be level boarding from train to platform and step-free access at 15 stations. Platforms have also been extended to fit our new longer trains. To improve access over the railway, we've built four new footbridges with lifts and 11 new ramped footbridges. A brand new station is being built on the Cardiff Bay Line at Booktown. This will make it easier for the community to get to Cardiff City Centre and beyond. Cycle storage, weight in shelters, improved lighting, CCTV and customer information screens have also been renewed to give customers a better experience. Pay-as-you-go travel has been introduced across the whole of the Metro network, offering a faster, affordable and more convenient way to travel. This is the first tap-in, tap-out system used on a rail network outside of London. While building the South Wales Metro and carrying out huge infrastructure changes to electrify the railway, TFW seized the opportunity to install a full fibre network. In November 2024, TFW launched Fibre, enabling companies to provide high-speed connectivity to Valley's communities. In total, 200 kilometres of fibre optic cabling will be installed. To put that into perspective, that's 40 times the length of the Prince of Wales Bridge, which connects Wales and England. The journey doesn't stop there. 
Over the next 18 months, the Rumney and Cardiff Bay lines will be electrified, followed by the introduction of the brand new tram trains. This is part of the Welsh Government's £800 million investment to deliver new trains for all parts of Wales. Once complete, the South Wales Metro will connect communities, reduce journey times and provide a greener way to travel. This is more than just a transport project. It's a legacy that will benefit the people of South Wales for generations to come.